As I explained in the first lesson, a Joomla website includes the files that make Joomla run and your content that primarily resides in a database. We need to create this database on your hosting account. But this process varies depending on the features that have been provided by your web host. These days most hosting accounts include some sort of control panel where you manage your email accounts, view statistics and so on. The control panel includes a database section where you can do this and I'll show you these steps in this video. If however your host only provides access to the PHP My Admin tool, skip this video and instead watch Lesson 4C. Finally, if you have no control panel access but you do have root access where you manage your site via a command line, jump to Lesson 4D. There are a number of different control panels with different layouts, so this lesson has to be a little more generic than the others. If you really get stuck, contact your host as many will be happy to create a database for you. I'm using a control panel called cPanel and we start off by logging into the control panel using the details provided by your host. Look for a section labelled databases. In my case it's here and the option I want is my SQL databases. Clicking that brings up this page. There are three settings to configure. Firstly, there's the database itself. Choose a name, type it in, and click Create Database. It doesn't matter much really what you call the database, and I'm going to name mine Video Demo. Note that my control panel added my site username to the database name. If this happens to you, note that the database name is all of this. For example, in my case, the database name is Joomla VI underscore Video Demo, not just Video Demo. You need to make a note of all this, and if you're following along using the workbook from the upgrade of this course, you can do this under the Database Access Details heading. Now go back and create a user for the database. In cPanel, this is further down the page, and I'll make my username Demo. The user needs a password, so enter something here as well. For the best security, it's a good idea to choose something that's different to your FTP password. You might need to repeat the password. Then click Create User. Go back to check what was done, and in my case you'll see that cPanel has once again added a prefix to the username. So in my case, the database username is JoomlaVI underscore demo. Once again, make a note of this somewhere. There's one last step. Users need to be assigned to databases. If you have a look at the database we created, there's nothing listed under Users. To assign our user to our database, look for something like Add User to Database. In my case, I only have the one database and user, so I can just click Add. When assigning a user to a database, we need to specify what that user is allowed to do with the database. With Joomla, we need to choose All Privileges. And then click Make Changes. Now, when we go back, we can see that there is a user listed next to our database. You really don't need to understand what you've just done, but it is important to realise that the database user we just created has nothing to do with accessing your Joomla content. These steps are only necessary as part of the installation process. This concludes the database setup lesson. The next two videos discuss how to create a database using different methods. So skip ahead to lesson 4E where I show you the final installation steps.